Good morning everyone. This is Kimmy. It's April 19th, 2020. Happy Sunday. So I will be reading out of this little book here. Called God is in the Small Stuff by Bruce and Stan. I'll be reading out of chapter 4. You can know God's will. But first, I would like to read this scripture out of Matthew 21, 22. If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Okay, chapter 4, you can know God's will. God's will is a paradox. It's both easy to find and difficult to discern. God's will can be immediate or it may take years to figure out. God's will can frustrate you or give you tremendous peace. One thing is for sure, you can know God's will. Although it may seem mysterious, there's really no mystery to it. If you know where to look, God's will is there. If you listen carefully, God will speak to you in amazing ways. First of all, God speaks through his word, the Bible. Everything we need for living a life that pleases God and what could be more in his will than that is in the Bible. As you get to know God's word, you will get to know God's will. Second, God speaks through your own judgment and common sense. But beware. Your decisions will line up with God's will only if you know God personally in the first place and then only if your relationship with God is right. When you're in, the, when you're in this condition, you will operate with the mind of Christ. The Holy Spirit will guide you from the inside. Finally, the most commonly, God speaks through the details of your life. Oswald Chambers put it this way, God is in the language you know best. Not through the ears, but through your circumstances. You think your life is an accident? Not a chance. You're here for a reason, and what you do matters to God. Everything. Not just the stuff you do in church or Bible study although that is very important. But in the everyday small stuff, that's where you'll find God. God's will most often. Take a look at your life. Think about the moments and events, the details, and see how far you've come. Those good things weren't coincidences. You weren't just lucky. If your heart has followed after God, then God has been leading you, and you have been doing His will, perhaps without even knowing it. On the other hand, if you feel like life is dealing you one bad hand after another, and you feel sorry for yourself, and you're mad at God, maybe it's time to get back to basics. Take the focus off yourself and get to know God better by reading His Word praying and associating with people who are in God's will. God wants to direct you through the details of your life. Give him a chance. Okay, so now I'm going to read in the small stuff. God's plans are always perfect. That said, seek his will. Don't make plans and then ask the Lord's approval. Ask God to direct your plans. If you're going to wait for someone, wait for the Lord. God may be using people to disagree with you. The call of God is sometimes difficult to hear. Once discerned, the call of God is difficult to avoid. Remember that God's will is not so much a function of time and place as it is an attitude of the heart. If you want to know God's will, spend time with him. No one could please God without adding a great deal of happiness to his or her own life. 
Circumstances may be outside your control, but the way you respond to them is not. When you feel like settling for less than the best, think about what God wants for you. If you will begin to live when you lose yourself in God's purpose for you, when God speaks, listen. When God commands, obey. When God leads, follow. So that's it. May God bless us throughout this day. And I will talk to you later. Love you.